You're watching Simply Cooking with Jed. Welcome. Dan, Dan Howard is Howard Maple Syrup uh, Company. Yep. And uh, Dan is a maple syrup uh, uh, maker, a supplier. You producer. actually make it. Producer. I produce it, yeah. Uh, right, producer, right. Yeah, I make it myself right from scratch. Right, so you tap the maple tree for the syrup. For this, well, it's made it's sap. Sap. Sap, sap is sap, what that's you right, get. Sorry. That's right. Yeah. It looks just like water when and you then first get it. You cook it down. Yeah, and then it has to be boiled down. Boiled down, not Easy. burning them. Not burning it, no. All right, and then and then how many gallons of uh, of of the sap? Yeah, gen generally it's about forty gallons. Forty gallons. We'll make one, one gallon, one gallon of, syrup. of syrup. That's a lot of cooking. Oh, it sure is. Yeah, how long does that take? Roughly about. Well, from fifty hours. Well, not quite that long. <laughs> generally, once the process gets started, once I get started, it's start of the season it's probably about a couple hours and then i'll have syrup coming off and then after that it's every half hour to every three quarters of an hour i've got syrup coming off you got to stir it and generally you don't have to stir it you just got to keep putting wood on the fire okay so and just make sure there's a continuous supply of sap feeding the feeding the evaporator so can you adding flavor other flavors but you, you just want to keep the pure that's right it's just pure all you're doing is boiling the water out now I notice there's a uh, uh, amber uh, syrup and then there's a uh, the lighter yeah, syrup. Yeah, usually the lighter and the medium syrups are usually more earlier in the season. Oh, okay. And it all depends on the year too. Some years you have uh, higher sugar content, and generally higher sugar content takes less boiling to come to get down to the maple syrup. So, right. and generally more boiling creates a darker colored syrup. Okay. And late later in the season you get darker darker syrup as well. Wow, okay. So like today we're gonna use the syrup to make some barbecue sauce, home homemade barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna boil some potatoes up and mm -hmm. when we come back, we're gonna marinate some ribs, Ontario um, pork ribs. And then um, now you can do it on the barbecue, you can uh, put it in the oven and then grill it. And then you finish it off by just glazing again with the maple syrup. That sounds good. And it'll caramelize the outside of the, uh, of the ribs, so make it nice and juicy. Right. You have to try that at home. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we're going to get some uh, potatoes in there, and, and I'm going to boil them, parboil them a little mm -hmm. bit, and then stick it in the oven. And then uh, together with the ribs, I'm going to cook it up. And then uh, we're going to make some simple uh, salad to go with the meal. Sounds okay? good. When we come back, we'll cook up some ribs with uh, Dan, the maple syrup producer. That's right. <laughs> right. We'll be right back after the break. You're watching Simply Cooking with Jed today with me, Dan Howard, the maple syrup producer. Now, right. we're gonna, we've got some potatoes here going, mm -hmm. boiling in the water. I parboil them before I roast them. Okay. And then we're gonna add some olive oil and balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. and a little bit of Italian seasoning in it and just a, a little dash of lemon juice in mm -hmm. it to cut the, uh, the, the carb in it. All right, so while that's going, we're gonna make some barbecue sauce. This is good old ketchup. ketchup. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a good base. Or you can use tomato sauce if you like. And um, now we'll just add about, uh, just about uh, a cup and a half of uh, a ketchup in there. We'll get some paprika and then give that rich dark color. Okay, and then the maple syrup, we can use this one, right? The amber. That's right. All right, so nice, oh, snuffle drinking. <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> right. Hey, dude, about, uh, about half a cup of that in there. That's going to give that sweetness yep. that we need. Okay, a little bit of lemon juice, maybe about two tablespoons of lemon juice. I like my measuring, just two right. tablespoons. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, about two tablespoons. <laughs> a little bit of mustard, <laughs> about two tablespoons there. Okay, now we're going to give it a quick whisk. All right. So this is going to go on. Ontario pork rib. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to throw it into the parchment paper, close it up, and throw it in the oven 350 mm -hmm. for about an hour. Yeah. Okay? That's so, wow. Yeah. And it will be nice and tender. And then after an hour, we'll take it out, open it up, and then Gra uh, glaze it with the uh, maple syrup again and just let it caramelize the final. Just with straight maple syrup. Straight maple that. syrup. Oh, okay. okay. So we're going to get our hands dirty here. 
Okay. Now I've got some garlic here too that I'm going to match it up. And then I chop it up and then throw it in there. Nice garlic. Okay. So do you do a lot of cooking at home, Ben? Uh, I used bit? to. You used to? I used to, I yeah. kind of left it up to the wife to do that now. <laughs> All right, you're just busy making the, the maple syrup, I right? make the maple syrup and I let her do the rest. <laughs> now, does she use a lot of maple syrup to, uh, to cook? Um, not so much, we usually just have it, we usually have it on our cereal for breakfast and then yeah. have it on our apple pie at the end of the day. All right, okay, so that's, that's mostly what you use? That? That's mostly what we use the maple syrup well, for. I can make some good... But we, we have, uh, she has used maple syrup, she has a uh, pork roast, she does, uses uh, maple syrup and Dijon mustard. Okay, I'm going to come over here then, we're going to put this, the rib, in here. All right, now I'm going to wipe my hands here. Okay, now I'm going to wrap this up and pop it in the oven. Now make sure that it's nice, nicely sealed and 350 for about an hour, okay? Beautiful stove Up provided by Sears. Okay, now I'm going to fish out the potato. These are nice mini red potatoes. And if you, when you parboil them, they, uh, they cook a lot faster. Uh, this kitchen is uh, provided by Sears and countertop is built by Allen Lumber. So nice. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of work that gone into here. So, oh, yeah. okay, so add a little bit of uh, olive oil about maybe about one tablespoons and Italian seasoning so maybe about one teaspoon balsamic vinegar about one tablespoon all right and then now uh, we're gonna just give it a toss just like that just like that and you know what because this is a steel bowl mm -hmm. we're gonna pop it right in the oven open face don't cover it for about 20 minutes It'll be nice roasting potatoes. Sounds good, nice All and right? simple. It is. So you can go home and make this meal for your wife. Um, I might try that tonight. All right, when we come back, we're gonna do some cleanup here and then we're gonna make some simple sal cucumber salad that goes with the barbecue ribs okay. with the maple syrup. So stay, stay with us, come back, we'll make some ribs. You're watching Simply Cooking with Jed. You're watching Simply Cooking with Jed. Today I'm making some barbecue ribs with Dan Howard, the maple syrup producer. And mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we got some ribs going on in, in the oven. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's about that time I'm going to pull it out and glaze it with your maple syrup and then pop it back in for about 10 minutes or so just to crust it up a bit. And in the meantime, we'll make some salad right. and the potatoes is in there so the meal is ready to go. Sounds right? good. So let's get up some let's see what they look like. ribs. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, open up the steam. It's hot. Okay, let's, okay. So, just gonna separate it a little bit. Now, I'm just gonna glaze some uh, maple syrup right onto it. Look at that. Mm, that looks good. Good enough to eat, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just going to pop it back in the oven and let the maple syrup do its magic. Okay. The oven is at 350, by the way. <coughs> okay, so what, while that's going on, okay, I'm going to have you chop up some cucumbers. Just cut it in wedges like that, okay? Sure. Careful, the knife is pretty sharp. So I'm going to julium some. And cut the whole thing? Sure. Um, you're having it's, a race it's, here? It's a race. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to some, um, I'm cutting some carrots here, just into, uh, into matchsticks. That should be done. And then, how are we doing there? I'm almost done. Almost done? 
All right. There we go. I beat you. Did you? All right. You won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is some carrot tossed in there. Well, actually, you're not quite done yet. Oh, what a... I'll tell you what, what I mess. We're going to julienne that. Okay? So, you want to kind of arrange that in that order? You want me to do these like that too? Sure. And then we're going to cut it into little matchsticks. So they all, they all shape the same. Ha, I won. <laughs> <laughs> you started first. Yeah. All right. So throw in some cucumber and carrot salad, okay? And while you're doing that, I'm just going to match, uh, mash some uh, garlic. garlic in there. Mince it up really good. Now, this is a very simple uh, summer salad. Watch what you're doing here. Mince it up real good. You can throw in a food processor if you want, but sometimes just quicker just to mince it up. Okay. All right. So throw it in there. Okay. And a little bit of lemon juice. And we need something sweet. Guess what we could use? Uh, maple syrup would probably work pretty good, I think. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the secret ingredients of the day, maple syrup. Now, it gives it a little smoky flavor. Okay. Give it a toss, nice summery color. Can you smell it? That nice lemon yeah, maple syrup okay, flavor. So I'm just gonna let that sit. Let the garlic kind of infuse into the um, the maple um, syrup and the lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and refreshing. All right. So all right. So we're gonna check on the ribs. It's doing wonderful. All right, so when we come back from the break, we're going to bring the ribs out, cut it out, let it rest for about two or three minutes, and let sure. the juice soak back in again, that wonderful maple syrup flavor, and then we'll plate it up, and we're ready to eat. All Are you right. ready to eat, uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after the uh, break. Watching Simply Cooking with Jed, and today cooking with me is Dan Howard, the maple syrup uh, producer. We just made some ribs, and it is looking wonderful. And the, if you leave the oven in there and the maple syrup on it, it will give it a nice crisp mm -hmm. finish. Okay, so and let it rest for just a minute or so. Let the juice kind of suck back mm -hmm. in again. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're gonna pull out the potatoes. Okay, potatoes is nice and ready to go. All right, now we parboil the potatoes before, so we let's put it in there to warm it up. Okay, we got some salad here. Okay, now we need some ribs. Now. We're gonna just cut it along the ribs, each one of them. Nice and juicy ribs, look at that. Mm. All right. Now then, what else can we use the maple syrup for? Well, you can use maple syrup for virtually anything. Anything that needs a sweetener, you can use uh, maple syrup for. Can you bake with it? Oh, for sure. What can you bake with it? Anything. Anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, of course it's good on pancakes, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Now, um, the pork that we, we put the um, maple syrup on, is, uh, pork is a, kind of a sweeter meat mm -hmm. to begin with. So with the maple syrup in there, it infuses really nice flavor. Yeah. And um, so with the maple syrup glaze on it, it gives it a very nice finish. And we're just cutting this along the bones here. And the barbecue sauce that we made. Um, have you ever made 
barbecue sauce with maple syrup? No, actually, I never have, no. No? All right. I use it. My uh, job is just making the maple syrup and then... <laughs> and let people use That's whatever right. the uh, That's imagination right. goes, right? That's right. Now, tell me, what's the best time of year to harvest uh, the maple syrup that got the most beautiful flavor of the maple? Well, usually generally it's early spring. Usually the syrup season usually starts late February, middle to late February. Gen is that generally. when you get the most volume of sap as well? Well, generally, yeah, as soon as once you get started getting the thawing, thawing during the day and freezing at night, that's what creates the sap flow. Right. And generally, the earlier you start in the season, is usually the higher quality is start is earlier in the season. And this is all done by your hand? All by hand. I use a drill. A drill. I use a, a cordless drill. I go around and drill. Just the, a drill, drill the and holes, then it just go. Drill a small hole under the tree, and then uh, yeah, the I usually have cup. somebody else following behind me and tapping the spile in, which is all preset. I'm all a tubing system, so. Can you just hook up a bunch of rubber tubes and then just let it all drip, and drip into a bucket? You can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, so used, I used to have a few. Uh, well, last year I still had 200, 200 trees with uh, pails on them, so you have, you'd have to go around and gather them. But this year I'm all, <laughs> all, uh, all tubing system. Yeah. So how many gallons of, uh, would you make a year? Of syrup? Yeah. Um, generally, I've been making, on average, I've been making around 300, 350 gallons a year. But this year, I actually doubled the number of taps I had. So I made close to 700 gallons this oh, year. Double your production? Yeah. So, and how much is left to go? Left to go? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot in your inventory. I've, I've got quite a bit of inventory. I've done a, uh, quite a bit of syrup is in bulk barrels. And we can find you at the farmer's market every at Saturday? The, the Woodstock farmer's market. I'm usually um, there up until about the middle of May. Okay. And then I go back again in the, in the fall. And I'm out there up until Christmas time. And then during the break, you were telling me that a really good dessert to have is ice cream and maple syrup. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a little treat of that later sure, on. Sure, sounds okay. good. All right. So we've got barbecue ribs glazed with maple syrup and a salad. A cucumber and carrot salad with a little bit of garlic and maple syrup and lemon juice and the um, potatoes, mini red potatoes with the uh, um, olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette and uh, roasted. So ready to dive in and we're going to taste a nice flavor, uh, maple syrup flavor uh, barbecue ribs. And after the break, we'll, um, we'll eat the uh, maple syrup ice cream. Sounds Thanks, Dan. All right, we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Simply Cooking with Jed. Today with me, Dan Howard. We're making um, a maple syrup uh, glazed pork ribs and, uh, <laughs> and, and mini potatoes and cucumber salad. Now, we're just cutting up some pineapple here and um, strawberries. And then we're going to add that to the ice cream for dessert and glaze it with a little bit of maple syrup. And thank, thanks to our sponsors, all this um, um, food item is mm -hmm. do donated by Foodland and um, Allen Lumber for the beautiful uh, uh, kitchen set mm -hmm. here and then uh, the, the equipment, uh, kitchen equipment donated by Sears and most of the roses for that awesome uh, looking flowers there. So we got some ice cream going on here and you said maple syrup ice cream is really good. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to pop in some strawberries and then we're gonna chop up some fresh pineapples I love fresh pineapples right? oh that's good yeah and glaze it with a little bit of just, maple yeah. syrup just a little bit eh? or if, you, if you like it really sweet you can uh, a little bit yeah. more <laughs> give it a little more all right then be my guest here oh what the heck use your try. fingers just <laughs> <laughs> yeah try that that's mm. ribs That's in honor good. of maple syrup. Mm. Yeah, are you, are you just saying that? Or is this good? <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Thank you, Dan, for coming <laughs> on the show. More uh, local produce, local people, and local um, community people like like you and I. Mm -hmm. So on Rogers TV. Thank you for watching. Simply cooking with Jed.